Porsche wrapped up its third consecutive World Endurance Championship title with a round to spare at China's Shanghai International Circuit last weekend. The Toyota TS050 of Anthony Davidson, Kazuki Nakajima and Sebastian Bumi took victory in the six-hour event, but second place for the Porsche 919 of Brendan Hartley, Earl Bamber and Timo Bernhardt was enough to secure them the driver's crown and Porsche the LMP1 manufacturer's silverware. This remarkable success effectively marks the swan song for the 919 in the WEC, with Porsche pulling out of the series following the last race of the season in Bahrain on November 18. In the four years since rejoining Endurance Racing's top level in 2014, Porsche has scooped a trio of drivers and constructors championships, plus three LE men's 24-hour wins, beating both the previously dominant Audi squad which abandoned the series at the end of 2016, and Toyota in the process. So it seems like a good time to take a look back at what made the Porsche 919 such a dominant force. 2014 first victory in Brazil The car made an low-key debut at the 2014 Silverstone 6 Hours, with the lead car of Formula One refugee Mark Webber and teammates Brendan Hartley and Timo Bernhardt taking the final podium spot albeit a couple of laps behind the winning Toyota, while the sister car of Mark Leap, Neil Yanni and Romain Dumas was forced out with a mechanical fault. In fact, technical issues were a common theme throughout that first campaign, not surprising when you consider the technical complexity of the 919. At its heart was a bespoke 500 bhp turbocharged 2.0-liter V4 petrol engine at this time Toyota used a naturally aspirated 3.7-liter V8, while Audi favored its tried and tested 4.0-liter V6 turbo diesel. Like its rivals in the LMP1H class, Porsche augmented the internal combustion engine with an electric motor, in this case a 400 bhp unit mounted to the front axle. This was powered by a lithium-ion battery pack that was charged both kinetically during braking and by an electric motor linked to the turbocharger. Like its Audi rival, the Porsche used the electric motors to deliver four-wheel drive traction when deploying both petrol and electric energy. At the time, the 919 was the only hybrid LMP1 car to run the two forms of energy recovery. However, due to fuel flow regulations, Porsche elected to run the car in 6 MJ, MJ, guys, rather than the highest 8 MJ category, meaning it lacked a little in outright performance. Even so, the car finally notched up its maiden win at the season-ending race at Interlagos in Brazil although the victory by Mark Leap, Neil Yanni and Romain Dumas isn't quite as well remembered as the huge crash endured by teammate Mark Webber after he clipped a slower GT through the flat-out turn 14 kink before the main straight. 2015 WEC Manufacturer Honors and LE Man's Glory for 2015 The 919 looked outwardly similar to the previous year's machine, but under the skin it was around 85% new. Crucially it was 30 kg lighter, meaning it now met the minimum weight target, plus it was now able to run in the more powerful 8MJ class. After a slow start Audi won the first two rounds the Porsche got into its stride taking a clean sweep of the remaining six races. At the end of the year, Porsche was as crowned manufacturer's champions and Weber, Hartley and Bernhardt secured the driver's crown. Yet perhaps the highlight of the year was the LE man's win, which was Porsche's 17th victory at the round-the-clock event and its first since 1998. More remarkably it was the team's third car that took the spoils with the driver lineup comprising Porsche's GT stars Nick Tandy and Earl Bamber, plus Formula One stalwart Nico Hulk Enberg, who had been given special permission to race by his Force India F1 squad. 2016 repeated success The following two seasons saw the 919 continue in much the same vein, although the fallout from the Dieselgate road car scandal that engulfed parent firm VW meant the factory entry was slimmed from three cars to two. In 2016, the 919 took another six wins, with Audi and Toyota taking victories in two and one race respectively. Once again, Porsche notched up victory at LE Mans although it was only by the skin of its teeth when one of the Toyotas dropped out of the lead with a technical fall three minutes from the end of the race. At the end of the year, Leap, Yanni and Dumas were named driver's champions, 
mainly through consistent points finishes the trio only won two races while Weber, Hartley and Bernard took four wins. 2017 Breaking Le Mans Records A reshuffled driver lineup was the big news in 2017, with Weber, Dumas and Leap all stepping down from front-line duties. That meant that Hartley and Bernhardt were joined by Earl Bamber in the number two car, while in the sister car Yanni was joined by Audi exile Andre Lotterer and 2015 Le Mans winner Nick Tandy. With Audi gone from the series it was a straight fight between Porsche and Toyota. Toyota started strong with two early victories before Porsche hit a purple patch and cantered to four wins on the trot, all scored by Hartley, Bamber, and Bernhardt. Toyota hit back with victories in the two most recent races, but it was too little too late and Porsche were able to sign off from the World Endurance Championship on high with its three world titles. Crucially, it also raised its tally of Le Mans wins to an unprecedented 19, which is unlikely to be bettered.